I'm back. I'm back and I'm not wearing any underwear. So while I've been gone, I, uh, I re-soundproofed the studio and I think I've done quite a good job. So I've put together some terrible pictures of how I've insulated it, which I'll go through, show you those, and filmed doing it. So hopefully it'll make sense what I've done. If not, put some comments and I'll answer it and uh, go through it in more detail. I'm going to do separate videos on more and more detail of how I've done the window boxes, because this studio has windows, and how I've soundproofed the door, just so you can see exactly what I've done. Uh, also in a later video, I'll put a decibel meter outside and, you know, have the windows open, shut the windows, show you the difference, put the window boxes in, and do a comparison between having proper soundproofing and just acoustic treatment, so just those foam tiles, which are, they're not for soundproofing. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna have a little drink, and um, yeah, it's good to see you again. So if we look at the first diagram, the left-hand side is outside the shed, and the right-hand side is inside the shed. So it's just a standard stud frame and it's clad in feather edge timber. Between each stud I'm using 50 mil or two inches of polystyrene. Then on the face of all the studs I'm using PIR board. So that's extra therm or Celotex. And that's where I've left the 40 mil cavity before I've put the internal stud wall. That internal stud wall between the stud work, that is filled with 70 millimeter acoustic fiberglass and the whole face of that is covered in 18 mil moisture MDF. The reason I've gone for moisture resistant MDF is two reasons really. One, it's moisture resistant, I'm working in a shed, and two, it's denser, so that density will hopefully stop more sound. There's another diagram of the same thing just with the studs put in the wall just to make it a bit more obvious what's going on. The next picture is to demonstrate the floor and how the, the walls sit within the structure. So the far left and the far right, that's outside, and the bottom, that's the floor. The orangey brown colour columns, they are the uh, timber posts, which I've bolted 150 mil, so six inch timber joists to those. Between the timber joists, I've slung 200 mil of acoustic insulation, that's supported on uh, chicken wire, so metal mesh. On top of those timber joists, it's 18 mil plywood, and on top of that plywood, I put two inches of polystyrene, then 22 mil moisture resistant chipboard. And it's on top of that chipboard I've built the internal walls. So if you look at the diagram, go from left to right, you've got the yellow orangey color walls. So that's the exterior ones where there's the cladding, there's the uh, breathable membrane that I've thrown in there. There's the two inches of polystyrene, then on the face of that there's the PIR board. Then there's that 40 mil cavity, so you see the white bit, that's the 40 mil cavity. And then the peachy colour bit, so as with the floor, that's acoustic fiberglass. And then the 18 mil MDF. So I've tried to create room within a room with a small cavity. It's a tiny studio, so it's the best I could do. This is my last diagram before going to the proper video of how it's refurbished. It's the window boxes. So within the windows, I made boxes which are effectively an 18 mil moisture resistant MDF box uh, reinforced with 70 mil timber. And then in that box, I filled it with 70 mil acoustic fiberglass, squashed that in with a sheet of cement board. So I've left about a 10 mil cavity, sealed that with acoustic sealant, and then closed the box. The reason I used cement board, when I was redoing the bathroom floor, uh, before it was just floorboards and you could hear a lot of noise coming from downstairs, as soon as that cement board floor was down in the upstairs bathroom, it stopped a lot of sound, so that's why I decided to sling it in the window box, it's just to try and, it's dense, so I just try and kill a bit of the outside noise. In this first video, I'm just showing you how I've put the 50mm PR board over the face of everything, and between the timbers you can see 50 mil polystyrene so it just gives you an idea of how it is on the ceiling on top of the face of all of that I screwed 12 mil OSB and on top of that I screwed 12 mil plasterboard I went for acoustic plasterboard with all the stud work inside between the floor and the existing walls I put 10 mil carpet underlay just to put a bit of a, a barrier between any hard surface so between any stud work that touched any wall you know, with inside the internal thing and the floor, 
I did that. So I built the stud frame and built some wooden reveals, some timber reveals out of the 80mm NDF to the windows to make sure that my existing 70mm acoustic uh, foam cutouts that I'd had, had made built would fit in. So you get to see those there, they fit perfectly and just gives me a size for my window boxes so before I did anything before I filled any insulation. So I stuffed it full of 70mm acoustic insulation. Nice. Just an idea of how it looks in all the stud walls and the right hand walls been boarded with 80mm MDF so on the face of all of this will be 80mm moisture resistant MDF. So this is the window box, I made sure it's square uh, and made sure it had the right gaps because I'm going to put a little reveal on. It's a solid box, so this is the, the box I've taken out and it's got the, the back panel, so the outward facing panel. I built the timber frame within that and went inside that timber frame I filled it with 70mm acoustic fiberglass, stuffed that in, squashed that down with a sheet of 12mm cement board, pushed it down, fixed it in place, sealed it with acoustic sealant, left a 10mm gap just for a cavity and then sealed the box shut. These things weigh a ton, I put acoustic tiles on the back so when it squeezes in, it squeezes in tight against the window so from outside you just see acoustic tiles, um, it just makes it squeeze in so wedge that in place, put some handles on it because otherwise how are you going to get it in and out? And it's set inside it. It weighs an absolute ton, but you know, it gives you an idea of hopefully it'll stop some sound. I'll do a decibel test, I'll get a meter and show the difference between just putting acoustic panels in and a proper window box once I've finished doing the second window box with a bigger window. Put sliding bolts in so it wedges in nice and tight. Uh, it also works for security as well because you'd have to go some to get through it. On top of that goes the 70mm acoustic panel and then curtains go over the face of it, some thick curtains just for a bit more because windows are going to be the weakness no matter what. Good job. Don't worry, I will do a proper tour. Uh, it's night time now and I haven't got very good lighting in here so when it's daylight I'll open the curtains, take the window boxes out and do a proper tour so you can see exactly how it looks. Uh, it's also not painted yet so I'll get it decorated. So until the next video, have a good evening.